Yeep yeep, I know. This is not open, and moreover all your data goes to Codium Cloud, that no matter what they claim, you should never trust them with things you don't want to share. On the bright side, it's free to use, and I want to shamelessly say that around the 20% of my code is fully generated or been reviewed with AI suggestions. Anywho, till we get a community AI solution, can you at least let me show to you how it works? First of all, you need to create a Codium account. And by the way, your profile will keep track of your code acceptances, the languages, and the IDs you used. Then, you need to install NeoVim from FlatHub, and I would really going for Helix, but they won't support an AI generator till they implement a plugin system. Bummer. Next, you'll go to Codium Vim plugin repository on GitHub that has 2,000 stars in active development, and on the end of the readme file, you will copy the clone command. Go to the terminal, paste it, and just fix the link according to the Flatpak installation under the .var and apps. Like that, you got it? Now, when we'll launch NeoVim for first time, the plugin might auto-start, but if not, you need to give Codium off command, and then a web browser will open to copy your token. Paste it on terminal, hit enter, and that pretty much was everything. Hmm, I haven't used Vim for a long time and I don't feel like learning how to use it again, so I can't show you much. But I'll try my worst, and let's start by creating a new Rust project, something like a NeoVim AI. Okay, and next we'll open the main.rs. Usually we create alias for Flatpak CLI commands, but because I don't use NeoVim, I skipped. Now, what Codium can do. If, for example, we want to create a person struct, Codium will guess it only by typing the first few letters, and it will also assume that we want to get at least the name and the age, and it will auto-complete those with a very low latency. Then, we can add a last name or whatever else property, and I'm telling you it gives very good predictions. And even if the AI code assistants are not yet in state that will produce flawless code, they are already exceptional good for creating common tasks and templates, saving us tons of time. So basically, in a few seconds we wrote 20 lines or Rust that perhaps wasn't the hardest code in the world, but we had to write it anyway. By the way, we can also ask Codium what we want to do, and Codium will generate the function for us, but I don't have idea how to use it on Vim and for sure I'm not going to read the manual. In the meantime, I only tried this because I wanted to see how such a crazy thing could actually work in a simple terminal. And of course, we already have open large language models, and GNOME should seriously start thinking how to bring them to the desktop, for some price most obviously. <laughs>